Yo, 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 what is up, y'all? It's Cone back here again today with another video. A video that I've been meaning to make, one that's way overdue. I was very wrong about the Los Angeles Lakers, and I wasn't just very wrong. I was very, 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 very wrong about the Los Angeles Lakers. So when I made my season prediction video, I said that they would be the first seed in the Western Conference. I think I even picked them to win it all. I haven't watched that video in a while, but I'm pretty sure that's what I picked when they got Russell Westbrook. I was so hyped. I talked about how they were they were going to win a championship, about how the, it, things were going to work. I thought they had a great offseason. I thought Anthony Davis, I made a video in the offseason talking about how I thought Anthony Davis could have one of, if not the best seasons of his career with Russell Westbrook and LeBron James, two great playmakers. I thought... I thought it was all going to click. I thought it was going to work super well. And in a Western conference with teams like the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Clippers that have always been big obstacles dealing with big injuries going into the season, I thought the West was more wide open than ever for them to step up, take the crown, LeBron going and getting another ring, Russell Westbrook finally getting that ring, AD, maybe a finals MVP on the way. I thought it was all going to be great. I really, really did. And that was real stupid. Um, in this situation, I did not know ball. Because the Lakers suck. It's it's not even a point where, at this point, we're not waiting for trades anymore because the deadline's passed. There's no e rumors of them even getting guys in like the buyout market unless maybe they get like a Tyreek Evans or something who hasn't played basketball in like three years. No one's coming to save this team. Kendrick Nunn is the only guy they have that they're waiting on, and he's not going to save this team. A team that just lost tonight by 28 points to the New Orleans Pelicans, falling to 27-32 and 32 on the season, only two and a half games away from being out of the play-in tournament. They stink. They're bad. They can't play defense. They turn the ball over. The offense feels like everyone's kind of just standing around waiting for something to happen that never does. The effort's not there. They're old, so they're slow. Rotations suck. Nothing works for this roster. Anthony Davis has been unable to stay healthy. When he was healthy recently, he looked pretty good, but now he's out for like four to six weeks or something like that. So he's not coming back to save this team. Russell Westbrook, my favorite player of all time. He's on the decline. I still don't think he's being used quite right, but it, it doesn't matter. He's not having a good season, not the one that the Lakers needed from him. LeBron James, while he's still really, really good, is showing some signs of age here and there. Tonight, him and Russ both had seven turnovers. Russ had seven turnovers, shot 33%, had one assist. Um, LeBron had 32, so shout out to him. But they got crushed by a Pelicans team that's been bad all season. This is a team that had championship aspirations. This is a team that all season it was, wait for the Lakers to get healthy. Wait for the Lakers to figure it out. We'll see. It hasn't happened, and it's not going to happen anymore. If this video doesn't like curse them the opposite way, then it is physically impossible. And it feels like at this point, everyone's kind of just given up on the Lakers this season, which I don't blame anyone. I think I've given up on the Lakers. I thought this was Russ's chance to maybe get a ring. It's not happening. This team's not good. Trevor Ariza is their starting small forward and he's like 36 years old. Dwight Howard was shooting floaters. That's what this has become. DeAndre Jordan threw a pass one-handed. First, he dribbled the ball up the court, first of all, because no one came back and got the ball from him. And then he flung a one-handed pass so far out of bounds that I think if you stacked every player on the Lakers roster up, they wouldn't have been able to catch that ball as it flew into the crowd. Lakers fans were booing when LeBron James got a turnover. You know how bad things have to get to boo LeBron James? They were booing him. They've booed Russ. They've yelled at Russ at this point during the se a couple times during the season to not shoot a three when he was kind of gearing up to do so. I don't. Jeannie Buss left during the game. You could see her leaving. There was a clip of it on Twitter. Frank Vogel, when this team was down by like 30 in the huddle, was like, all right, guys, let's just pretend like we're down 15 and go out there and do what we can. Nothing's working. They, they held on to their coach. They held on to... And it, it's just such a big fall for a team that was so good two years ago. And it feels like they just tried to fix something that wasn't broken. They had just won a championship. They made all these moves. It didn't work out. There were injuries here and there. And last season wasn't very good. And then they decided we're going to make more changes. And they've they, none of them have worked out. I don't think a single change has worked other than maybe like Malik Monk. And like, sure, Stanley Johnson. He's been solid too. But like even Malik Monk had zero points tonight. So I don't really know. I don't really know what else to say. It 
it is unfathomable that this Lakers team has been as bad as they are and they made no trades at the deadline. I don't care what move you have to make. Some You have to make a move. There's no way you looked at this team and said, yeah, this will work out. There's no way. And if you just throw away this season, then all right, I guess that makes sense because that's the only way I could see them justifying not making a trade at the deadline. Even if it was just the smallest move, like trading Kent Bazemore in a second for something, anybody, someone to change this team. The culture is dead. No one looks like they want to be out there. Everyone looks like they're giving up. The Los Angeles Clippers who are missing Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, their two star superstar players have been so much better than this Lakers team with LeBron, Russ, and AD. And sure, AD's missed time. It doesn't matter because you look over across the city in the same stadium, the Clippers are doing what they should be doing. The whole point of bringing in Russell Westbrook was to help out with these injuries because AD is injury prone and LeBron is getting older. He needs time to rest. So the whole game plan with making this roster the way it was, was to deal with those injury things. And instead, the Clippers are doing the exact same they're doing the exact thing the Lakers wanted to do and holding things down while their stars are injured. It's un it's embarrassing what has happened to the Lakers this season. And I don't, there's not a single Lakers fan, I think, out there that's going to disagree with this video. I don't know if there's any Lakers fan at this point that still believes this is a championship team. Because it's not. It's not even close. I don't even know if they're going to make the playoffs at this point. Or, yeah, if they're, they might not even be a playoff team. And I really, really did want to see this team succeed. But instead, it's been one of the like funniest dumpster fires I've ever seen. I like I wanted to see them succeed, but at this point, it's become like a parody of itself. All the situations that have happened over the course of this season, the LeBron tweet about like, don't hate on my squad that he deleted later on him saying that they're going to turn things around, which did not work. All of, like the Twitter space stuff you had that portion of the season where Frank Vogel was day-to-day -day reportedly coaching for his job, which is something you just do not see for championship teams. You had all of those falling outs, all of these weird situations, and it's just culminated in what has been one of the weirdest seasons for a team, a team that had championship aspirations, at least, that I can remember. It's been, it's been comical at this point. At this point, it's just funny. And so... You look at this season, it's a wash. It's it's done. They can't do anything. Even if they make it into the playoffs, they're not going to beat the Suns. They would get swept by the Suns. They'll get swept by the Warriors too. So there's nothing to do there. If the Grizzlies make it up there, Grizzlies would probably sweep them too. Maybe five. Because you have LeBron James, maybe you could make something happen. If Anthony Davis is even back for the playoffs, which we don't know if he will be. And then you look forward past this season. What happens? LeBron James is only going to get older. AD's kind of been injury prone. So unless he comes back fully healthy and just doesn't get injured anymore, he's kind of declining in terms of his health. Russ's contract is probably untradeable and they don't have any assets to trade. Nobody. Taylor Horton Tucker was their best asset and coming into the season, he was looked at as a pretty valuable young player. But now his trade value has tanked. He was their piece at the deadline that they looked at and they were like, okay, we can trade him to maybe get something better. And teams really just weren't super interested because now he's making more money than he's worth at this moment. Sure. Can he maybe be a good player at some point in his career? Yeah, absolutely. He's young, but that trade value that he had at one point is gone, at least for the time being. So you don't have him as a trade piece anymore. What do you do? There's no, there's really no way to make this team better. So they're probably just going to have to run it back. And there's no way that works out well because we see what's happening now. And I really think with how old this team is, especially things are only going to get worse. Stars probably, I don't think there are many stars that are going to be looking to take a discount or even solid role players to come play in Los Angeles in what right now is kind of a dumpster fire. I don't think it happens. So you've got this team that is really struggling right now. They're supposed to be a contender. I thought they were going to be the first seed in the Western Conference. I was so wrong about this team. Nothing's worked. None of the things that I thought worked were going to, none of them have worked. I thought, you know, oh, they've got shooters now around them. Shooters aren't working out pretty well because guys either play defense or hit threes. Not a lot of guys on this roster do both of those things. The Russ AD connection's not working. AD can't stay on the court. 
it's all falling apart. It's been a disaster. And so I was wrong, very wrong about the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm sure a lot of you are going to say you told me so in the comment section, which, you know, go ahead and do that. But um, I don't really know what else to say. It's been, I don't know. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this Lakers team. Are there any of you out there who still believe like that this team can win a championship? I'm kind of curious. What would you do to fix this team? I've said this a million times in videos. I don't know. I don't know where you go from here. I don't see a path. It's not like you can fire Frank Vogel right now and turn around your season with like, what, 22 games to go? It's not going to work. Sure, maybe you could use that time to bring in a new head coach and try and establish a system going forward. But at that point, I think you just add more dysfunction. I don't know. Maybe this is the offseason where LeBron forces his way out. He asks for a trade or something like that. I don't really know. Um, I guess LeBron's just going to have to come play in OKC. guess that's just going to have to happen. But yeah, so I just kind of want to make this video talking about the Lakers. I don't know if I'm going to talk about them again unless something crazy happens because it's just they have so many national TV games and I just don't want to watch them. It's just not fun. To, which is something that is crazy to say for how excited I was going into the season for the Lakers. Seeing Russ, my favorite player of all time, play with LeBron James, one of the greatest of all time, and honestly, one of my favorite players of all time too, and it's been a disaster. Um, Yeah, so that's all I got. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you're a Lakers fan, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of you. Um, Let me know how you're doing in the comment section below. Sorry. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. I will see y'all later. Real one, say it back.